Good morning. We're going to play for a little while in the living room. And we'll also do the breakfast right here. Let me get the puppies. Oop, they're going to follow me. Um, but these are Daisy's Cal, Larry King, Charles, Spaniel puppies. They um, they turn five weeks old today, so we're, we need to do their five-week weight checks. Um, and then we've got breakfast to give them. They don't have to do their deworming this week, which is nice because they get a, a week off. Um, but they'll get it next week again. So um, pull out a couple toys. Okay, some toys. While I go get your your brothers and sisters. Are you following me out? Do we need to get your mama? I need to go get the mama. Who is that that's uh Who's this? Oh, Beatrix. Beatrix, you are so so confident. You have such confidence, Beatrix. It's amazing. Come on, pups. Come on, puppies. Puppy doodles. Or you guys can eat my shoes. I'm going to have to bring the shoes in here and order more with them. Come on, pups. Here's Mama for anybody who's not familiar with Mama. Peace, doodle. Indy. She wants to make sure we got them all. Uh, come on. <laughs> he was like shaking his shoes. <laughs> come on, guys. Fire the shoes. Fire the shoes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, hi, Daisy. Hi, I know. Hi, Goose. Good girl. Holy mackerel. This, this looks good. I like it. Oh, goodness. Everybody's nursing. Everybody's nursing. Sorry. What's the matter, Daisy? Are you hungry? Oh, that's what's going on. She's hungry. She wants some food. She wants some breakfast. She wants some breakfast. <laughs> you're so funny. Who is that? It's Pippi. Pippi, you're so silly. Backlight helps. Ah, oh, it does help, yes. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Wah. Ew. <laughs> All right, come on, Daisy. I'll get you some food. Um, could you heat up water for the puppies? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Feed them on, um, for your puppies. We'll have Daisy stay in here so the puppies stay in here. <laughs> puppies, puppies. Hi, Daisy Doodle. Are you piddling? I know you're not piddling. Oh, you're not piddling. We need to bring the pie right in here. Hey, puppers, come on. Beatrix, come on, sweet boy. Come on. Come on, pups. Come on, Beatrix. Beatrix, come on, sweetie. What if you just put it in front of the... Um... Oh, like in front of the doorway? Yeah, in front of the doorway. Maybe that would work to act as a... Oh, I'll lose the spot where oh. Hey, come here. There oh, go. good boy, Andy. Run into the potty tray. They try to leave. Oh, all right. Where's Pippi? Where's Pippi Piddle? Oh, right here. Go potty! Good girl, Jenna! Good go potty! Oh, hi. All right. Oh, Daisy. Oh, so here, uh, Daisy's having my, uh, Daisy's pre gaming her food with, uh, with Jenna's. Fresh puppy poop. Je yeah, with Jenna's, uh, where did the pippy pee go? It's right, it's right here. Oh. 
I marked it with the orange. Come on, pups. But I wasn't. Eat your food. Eat your food. I know that's what you wanted. She just started going. Okay. There's a spot. No. Are we missing a puppy? Yeah. Like five. Um. Is there one still over there? Oh, um, I put Pippi in oh. while I was getting the tray. Oh. Hi, puppies. Oh, Pippi, puppy, sweetie. Good girl. Her little. Oh. Okay. I can't find it anywhere. Good girl, Pippi. She was just over there, sitting in the middle of the of the pen, oh. facing the wall. <laughs> she oh, like, no more yeah. thing. Yeah, she was just like, I've been bad. Beatrix, Beatrix, come on, sweetie. Yep, yep, what is that? I swore there was a wet spot. Beatrix, Beatrix, come here, silly thing. <laughs> She's gonna get you, mommy. Beatrix, she's gonna chase you because she. Beatrix, I love you. Don't eat my shoes, please. Hey, what have you got? That's not for puppies. That's not for we puppies. like to um, introduce them um, to the rest of the house and um, not really to the rest of the house, but just to house routine um, kind of before we start bringing in other dogs because we want to let them explore and um, like without worrying about uh, Robin and Missy setting down rules. Because um, we want it to be a completely positive experience. Yeah. We want it all to be good. And that's why we have the potty tray here. We want them to um, have access to potty. Make that as easy as possible. Oh, you got Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Darcy. He is a lover. He is a lover. He's not a fighter. He's a lover. Oh, look at this. York just going for the dry dog food. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I was gonna put their kibble right in there. Their, Hi. their puppy food. Hi, Pippi. Good girl, Pippi. Hi, buddy. Good girl, Pippi. Good boy. Pippi. Who's a good boy? Purple Pippi. Purple Pippi. Hey. You know, if we could keep a blue Merle, you'd be it. You'd be uh, the boy. You think Mr. Darcy would be it? You don't think Mr. That... Darcy and York. Yeah, I was gonna say York. Uh... Mr. Darcy for the boy and York for the girl. Yeah. Right, Pippi? Yeah. You. The look is the beautiful, beautiful standard tray color. You look so much like your mama, just a little bit bigger. Yeah. I hope she develops more freckles so that she has more of a daisy face. <laughs> I'm really curious. She's got such a daisy face already with how um, kind of has, she has that widow's peak. Yeah. Daisy's got that too. I'm really curious if uh, she will end up being bigger than Daisy. I think she will be. I think she'll be more like Spike's size. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. What's up? Oh, I should probably, um, let me come and say good morning to everybody. Let me come over by the computer. Now that we've got puppies all staying inside here. Um, good morning, Silver Stitches. Aw, don't be like a bad puppy mama. You're a great puppy mama. The puppy mom guilt is as real as the regular mom guilt. Good morning, Shonda. Um, June 16th is Pommy's due date. Um, we, um, in our own little way, have confirmed her pregnancy. Um, and so we're, we're certain the pregnancy took and we gave her, gave her a due date of June 16th. Um, Macchiato is the daddy. Um, and then Missy is also starting to go into heat. It's early, but she's starting to go into heat. We expect her to start going into heat around May 1st, so she's right on schedule, really. Good morning, Clive. Good morning, Terry. Anu, good morning. Love Pogs, good morning to you. Good morning, Lisa and Beth. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Linda. 
Oh, Sue, I love what you said about your Velcro buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy she's doing so well. I'm going to bring them a little bit closer. Here. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I was a little too close. Hi, sweetums. Oh, you are so pretty. You are so pretty. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, you want to get me. <laughs> Indy is getting more and more brave. Oh, he's so sweet. Right, I'm going to shut the curtains again so that it's not. The light's not. These are the window curtains that Bella Spider Girl knocked off the wall. Hi, come here. The toy basket. Did you have a kibble? Did Miss Jenna have a kibble? Can you guys eat your mama's food, huh? You think? You want to try again, Jenna? Hi, Emmy. Come here. I'll play with you. Oh, and we gotta do their um, weight checks. Do not let me forget. Nobody let me forget. I'm determined to do their weight checks. Five week weight checks. Can yes. you bring Mr. Darcy? Um, he's right here. I know his school. Oh, oh yeah, I have to go to school. Yeah. Are you dressed? Well, actually, um, uh, not yet. Since he had such a good visit, let's take somebody else so that somebody else can have a good visit. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Who have been not taking yet? Because I know we haven't taken all, oh. all of them. Have we taken Pippa or Pippi? Um, I think we have, but I think her visit was like there wasn't really a lot of people, and it was just kind of in and out. Mm -hmm. Beatrix had a really good visit. Mr. Darcy had a really good visit. <clears throat> York got shafted. And he had like okay visits. Jenna had an okay visit. Let's take Pippi. Okay. And then for pick up. Uh, we'll think about who. We'll see who goes for pick up. Okay. We'll think about it. Hi! 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 Hey, you good girl. <gasps> You're such a good girl. Such a good boy. Hi, Pippi. You're such a good girl. Your guys' food is coming, I promise. I can hear Dad making it. I can hear the clanging. Yeah. Oh, Pippi loves the butt scratches. Yeah. Turn the camera a little bit. Queen. I can still talk to you guys. Oh. I think mom is trying to tell you something. You got my slipper? You got my slipper? Our most recent batch of dog toys or puppy toys came with a whole bunch of little toy slippers and um Mike and Susie said that um, after the first night with Kiwi that he loved slippers. And so I was like, well, did you pull out the slipper toy? And so Susie said, yeah, they, they, they ended up pulling that out. Um, I'm not sure if the slipper toy helped or made it worse. Who's a good boy, Andy? Yesterday I picked up Beatrix and... Um, was just kind of walking. We, we like to bring them around with us as much as we can. And so I was holding Beatrix as I was like going around the house, doing like grabbing things for Bella and you know, just whatever. Huh? Oh, never mind. Um, and I was holding Beatrix just kind of like this and was still had my hand functional. 
and she had positioned herself in such a way where um, she was, she reminded me of um, you know, like a six month old baby on his, sitting on their mom's hip. And so I was kind of just holding her like this and continued about doing stuff and she just conked out. And so her head and her paws were just hanging over the side of my arm. Um, and she was super cozy, weren't you? Indy, so Indy compared to Beatrix, she is, she's got that light petite about her, whereas Indy feels more like his dad. You're going to be your petite mama. Mr. Darcy's coming in between. I think York is on the little. Yeah, it's York and Fiddle. Hi, Beatrix. Hi, Trinos. Oh, you guys, they love butt scratches. Love them. Rio does like a little, if you scratch down his back, he does a little shimmy. Drew can do it really well. I'll remind him and have him show you guys. Hi, Andy. What's up? You want my buttons, huh? You want my buttons? What's up, Pippi? What's up? What's up? I think we should angle the camera down a little bit so that they can see puppies. They can see puppies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she just landed in the landed in the dish. grabbing like three of them <laughs> they're like three of them and hold them together and see how they squirm and get comfortable because they always find a way to get cozy they'll get cozy unless they want to go play <laughs> which is what you're supposed to do <laughs> like we don't get cozy we don't know what that is hi are you coming back such a good girl. What do you what are you doing over there, Beatrix? What are you doing? What are those good puppies? You are quick and ready to go. Okay, here's your birthday. Oh my, my birthday. There, Jerry. I'm sorry. I'm cleaning up rather washing yesterday. I can't find mine. Um, yours. Um, so is it in the bedroom? It, yeah, it looked like it um, was placed on the foot of the bed, like the foot rest thing, the footboard, uh -huh. and fell. Like just not. Um, I think it's on the other side of Bella's bed. Alopecia. Right now. Are you hot? Really? You are so cute. Hi. 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 Oh. I love you. I love you. I love you. Push good buttons. Let's let mama finish eating. Let mama finish eating. Indy, 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 
found the orange toy. Guys, please stop. I I know he always says that. Can you go potty, Indy? Can you go potty? Good boy. Good go potty, Indy. Good boy. Can you go potty, Beatrix? Go potty, Pippi. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty, Mr. Darcy. Go potty. Good boy. All right, puppy doodles. Back to mama. Back to mama. I promise your food is coming. I know it is. This is frustrating me. Oh, Beatrix went for a little. These puppies are way braver than <laughs> Puppy doodles! Puppy doodles! She was all the way out there. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, I gotta take me to school soon. Take me to school. Daisy Doodle! Hi! Hey, May, would you mind sitting here with puppies so that I could put clothes on? I gotta get my shoes on. Okay. Are you? No, are you? Oh, you stinker. Good girl, Jenna. Potty puppies. I have this blanket out to catch all the accidents, <laughs> and they're all going like just outside the border of it. What are you doing in the bowl, you silly dog? <laughs> I'm waiting for food. <laughs> I gotta, I have to take us to school. That's right. Puppies! Come back. What? Come back. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Go potty, Jenna. Go potty. Oh, Jenna. Go potty in the air. Just like with the blankets, he stepped. She was she was in the potty tray and walking around, and then she stepped out and then went potty. So cute. I don't ever remember a, a litter being this cute.
puppies. Puppies, stay in here. <laughs> she just popped right out. Is that your? Did she follow me everywhere? Yeah. All the puppies are here. Photo dogs. Here, puppies. Hey. Yay! Food! Now I'll throw some extra in there. Oh, I know. I'm just. <laughs> Who wants Frankie? Pippi, Pippi, Pippi. Hi. Who is who's crawling under my legs? Huh? Who is that? Is that the Beatrix? It is. Beatrix, you are a little adventurer. No, don't eat the shoes. Go party, baby. Baby, go party. Go potty. No. Go potty, Pippi. Around circling, and then finally she just steps out, squats behind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to move around, whoever? Let me take 
you gonna take, man? Who are you gonna take? Pippi Pippi. Zoom. Oh, no, you little stinker. Love you. Love you, Baba. Bella, turn it. You gotta turn it down, baby. Or get your headphones. Uh, you turn the volume there off. No, volume off, or you gotta get your headphones. I think your headphones are in our bedroom, on the oh, Don't, don't, don't fuck with that. Can I can get them. No, Bella, you can go get them. Are you gonna be done? No. 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 Puppies. Hi, puppies. 
puppies, hi puppies, hi, hi puppies. Goodness gracious. Hi, Indy. No. No, Bella. Puppies stay on the ground. Love you, Bella. Love you, sweetie. Bye. Goodness gracious. Come on. Hey, come back. Arr, Mr. Darcy. It's the Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy, Mr. Darcy, Mr. 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 Darcy. You guys sure have been eating your food like the puppies? Yeah. Are you guys hungry? Hmm? Hi. Whoa. You're getting more and more comfortable being away from your pen. Yeah. You sure are. Let's get these ears. Let me play with these ears. Yeah, we're gonna play with the ears. See? So if you ever see Elizabeth and or or me picking up the pups and we're like pulling at their ears or you know tugging at their paws and we're just doing that to desensitize them um, so that you know when it comes time to trim uh, nails or to clean ears they're not freaked out by you. Um, you know, pulling on their ears and trying to get the get the, the icky earwax, or by um, you know pushing their toes out and clipping their nails, huh? Huh? So you know, Miss Jenna here, you're a very good girl. Yes, you are. Who's a good girl, Jenna? Yeah, who's a good girl, Jenna? Mwah. Good girl, Jenna. What? Who's whining at my back? Hmm? Who's this over here? Hmm? Mr. Darcy, hey, Mr. Darcy, yeah, you play with your toes, you play with your toes. Oh, play with your toes, play with your toes. I play with your toes, yep. Oh, can get the ears, can I get the ears, yeah, can I get the ears, no, I want your ears, I want your ears. York, hmm, hmm. Get the ears next. Get the York ears next. Hmm, hmm. Who's a good girl? That's a good girl. Good girl, York. And Indy, are you just going night night, bud? Take a nap on my lap. Take a nap in my lap. That's a definite no. Little Miss Beatrix. Yeah, none of that. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Beatrix. Yeah, good girl. That's a good girl. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. What's going on? You guys all that quiet. Why did everybody get so quiet? Jenna, 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 Jenna. Hi, Indy. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Ah. Oh, what should we talk about? Hmm? What should I talk about? Nah. How about potty training? Hmm? I need to reinforce some potty training. So if we ever have um, like one or two uh, pups, and we've, we, it's happened in the past where uh, maybe like one or two pups aren't quite getting um, potty training, 
like they're not picking it up. Um, what we'll do is we call it, we'll, we'll boot camp them. And uh, what we do is uh, we'll take one of the crates that we have and we'll put a um, one of the larger, like there's there's three size of, of uh, potty pans that we use. There's a 24 inch, which is, is, is 24 by 24. We use a 30 inch, which is 30 by 30. And then there's a 30 by 36. And we'll take the medium one, the middle one, the 30 by 30, put it into a, um, a large uh, dog crate. And it takes up most of the space in there. And then we'll have the rest of the space be for them to lay down. But since there's uh, you know, a lot of space in there for the pie tray, it kind of like forces them to use the tray. Yes, Annabella. Hey guys, the play is clogged. Oh, that toilet is clogged, huh? Oh, excuse me. Only your guys'. Only our guys'. Okay, let's go take a look at this, Joey. Well, baby, I, we'll just have to leave it. Did you already use the bathroom? What are you doing over there? Hmm? With that hunchback. Arr, oh my. Looks like everybody is just ready to go nuggets. I think though, after last night, um when I'll talk to Elizabeth when she gets home, but I think we're gonna it's going to be time to move these guys out into the pen here in the corner because uh, they're getting so big and so bold. Um, they're like they have enough confidence and stuff that they're figuring out ways to get out of the, uh, the whelping pool. So we were planning on using that to be like their sleeping area. Um, but, you know, when we put them in there, they see us. Uh, up in bed and they want to be with us and so they start pulling themselves out so that's not exactly working so i think that we're gonna have to make their their sleeping area the pen in the uh in the corner in our dining room hey thank you baby oh he's a good doggy pippy come here pippy yeah he's a good girl that's a good girl pippy good girl good girl, good girl pippy Oh my goodness. Look at you. Yeah, look at you. You're so cute. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Pippi. Oh, you're going after your sibling here? You're going after York, huh? Little Miss York. Our York Peppermint Patty. The, we've got the York Pippi Patty. Huh? The York Pippi Patty. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, York. Hey there. Why don't we not use the teeth on my neck? Yeah. Uh uh. Well, good girl. Good girl. York, you're just gonna come back and lay in my lap. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh hi, sweetie. <laughs> and someone is whining in the kitchen. She's coming in and modeling for you guys. Are you strutting your stuff, Pippi? Pippi, come here. Come here, not be doing the potty business. What are you doing over there? Hmm? Come over there.
York, you will not accept anything else but my lamp. Huh. Hush. Good girl, Pippi. Good girl. Who's a good girl? You are being very good. Yes, you are. So this is a another pretty good uh, sign of um, of obedience. Usually, if um, if the puppies will uh, like when you're walking, if they will walk beside you or a little bit behind you, it's always a good sign that they're uh, going to uh, they re they recognize you as the leader, as the alpha of the uh, the pack. And so, right now she's kind of sitting next to me, but uh, a little bit back, so she's being very good, very submissive, very good, Pippi, and. Um, we always look for that whenever we're uh, walking the dogs, or if um, like we're bringing them in from from outside, uh, going through the door. We will always make sure that we're the ones going through the door first, that we're not letting them in. Like we're not being their servants and opening the doors for them. Basically, uh, we don't want that that impression to be given to them. Hold on a second, I gotta go and see why a doggy is whining. Why is a doggy whining? Oh, I guess, you know, what I could do is I can go through the live, Ugh. Yeah, go through the chat. Hi, sweetheart. Hmm. Quiet, quiet now. Oh, you guys. Uh, good morning, Tang, or good evening to you. Oh, I'm so, so sorry I missed you, Tang. Dang it, man. Uh, good morning, Sue. See you there, and Linda, good morning. Hi, what are you helping? You're being really stinking cute. Yes, you are. You good girl, York. You good girl, York. Ah, no, no, no. Lisa, good morning, Lisa. Looks like Lisa and Linda were talking. Beth Hill, good morning, Beth. Hope you guys are having a nice, uh, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday morning? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Terry Carney's on. Good morning, Terry. <laughs> These little munchkins are so stinking cute. Beth, you sound like, uh, I, I say the same things. <laughs> They're little, they are... Well, cute stinking muffins, aren't you? Little cuddle muffins. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, Silver Stitches, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
uh, hope uh, Nisa is doing well too. A new good morning, good morning, a new yay, and love pugs, love pugs is on. Let's see, da 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 da. Audrey is watching with me, cocking her head to Drew and Elizabeth's voices. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh man, I wish I'd been looking at this earlier. Okay, wonderful. Hi, Sue and Audrey from Clive C. Good morning, Clive. Oh, hey, uh, so Shonda Stiles, good morning. You you bring up a very good question. Uh, she says, good morning, Elizabeth and Drew. Any plans for another litter anytime soon or in the near future? So um, yesterday, Elizabeth and I uh, took a look at Pom Pom to see if uh, her mating with Macchiato took. And uh, so they mated about two weeks ago. And right now, all the signs are indicating that uh, it did take and that she is going to be uh, pregnant. Uh, I always knock on wood. <laughs> I'm always knocking on wood because I don't want to uh, jinx it. But um, so we should have pom pom and macchiato puppies here in the next uh, next six ish weeks. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it looks like Sue kind of answered a little bit of your question there. Uh, Silver Stitches, I feel like a bad pup mom today. Oh, Silver Stitches, why do you feel that? I missed the date for Nisa's second vaccines, and she might have to start all over again. Uh, you shouldn't have to start all over again if, you, if you're if you able to get, in her, get in, her in there relatively soon for her uh, second vaccines. They should be able to just do one more round, and it should be fine. Uh, let's see. Lori, good morning, Lori. There's a new, let's see. <laughs> so I knew that's a good point. Uh, new said, uh, I thought the puppies would be uh, too small for the playroom. However, it seems that they are quite ready. Yeah, so I think that, uh, like right now we're in the living room uh, and normally this is where whenever families come for visits, or when uh, families come to pick up their puppies, this is where we do all the, uh, um, you know, all the the playtime and the, uh, the the FaceTime, or you know, we do a lot of the FaceTimes in here too. Uh, whenever we do uh, FaceTime phone calls, but this is where this is where the magic happens in the in the living room here next to the uh, the, the stove. Let's see, but I, I do believe it knew that. Um, with them, uh, they do seem very uh, comfortable being out here, which is awesome. And so I think if they're comfortable here, we might be able to uh, put them into our the, the nursery, which is the uh, uh, Elizabeth's old bathroom. We both have, uh, or we've moved into uh, what you know, was my bathroom is now uh, our bathroom. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more cramped, but uh, the Elizabeth's old bathroom has so much awesome space for the puppies and uh, we plan to do a, a lot with it to make it a nice little puppy nursery. So let's see. <laughs> it looks like you guys are saying that they were on the movie and yeah, the, the puppies were, they were moving around quite a bit and now they are, they are conked out. Terra Nova, I missed the other litter going to their forever homes. I will have to be back uh, to watch. Um, yes, so uh, Tara, uh, usually when uh, people come and pick up their puppies, uh, we're never quite sure you know, how uh, people feel about uh, possibly being on the live. And so we usually kind of just use discretion and uh, we'll have uh, the camera uh, on the pen that's in our, uh, like our entry. Um, so you'll probably be able to hear some of the conversation, but we never really like want to put a camera in these people's faces as we're going through the, the contract and they're, you know, getting to hold their puppy and whatnot. So, um, we usually just kind of leave things out there and let folks hear it. Cause there's usually a lot of laughter and, um, uh, some really awesome conversations. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, usually how, how the pickups go, uh, Stu, good morning, Stu. Good morning to see you. Let's see. Back to another song. 
Oh, I love, I love you too, Elizabeth. I wonder if you're still watching. I'm just now pulling it up. And, oh, maybe you, you must have sent me that message when I first pulled it up. <laughs> love you, baby. Uh, so, Nisa is doing well indeed. I'm still, I am still full of COVID. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. So sorry, in Silver Stitches, that you're sick. Um, oh, <laughs> was it this one? Watch me. Oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Silver Stitches, that you're that you're feeling sick. Oh, Kelsey Adams, good morning, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Let's see, da, 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 Silver Stitches. Oh, I think that's just about it. Hey, Drew, you see the article that says wrong. Oh no, Stu! No, I did not see that article that um, Seth Rogen lost his Cavalier. Oh my gosh, fourteen years old though. That's I mean that that dog had an awesome life. Um, that's very sad. That um, I, I'll have to look it up now because I mean that's a really good name for a dog too, Zelda. I don't know if anybody um, you know plays video games or used to play video games, but everyone thinks that uh, you know when you play The Legend of Zelda that your Zelda, the the little you know guy. Uh, that's not Zelda. That's Link. Uh, Zelda is the princess. So anyway, <laughs> and, yeah, it's a really good name for a, a girl dog. Oh, his perfect girl Zelda passed away at 14 years old. That's so sad. Well, who knows? Maybe Seth Rogen needs a, uh, uh, a another Cavalier in his life, and maybe he'll reach out to Red Barn Cavaliers. Yeah, we'll see. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's okay, sweetie. Yeah, it's okay. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> Elizabeth says, let's, let's reach out to him. Yeah. Anybody, any uh, of the uh, Red Barn Army, if you guys want to... Uh, Reach out to Seth Rogen or try your best to to uh, raise the alarm that we've got uh, puppies on the way. Uh, maybe he'd be interested. Oh, I think Mama's home. There she is. Okay. It is really weird watching you on here and then coming in and, and coming, seeing it. And seeing me right here. I see why our families are kind of like, whoa. Whoa, ow. <laughs> That's so funny. Love you. I hate hearing my voice. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of delay there. Oh, doggies. It's just mama. Oh. <gasps> No, 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 that's not for you, that's for puppies, that's, no, no Daisy, this is puppy food, this is not Daisy food, this is puppy food, <laughs> not Daisy food, this is not Daisy food, Did yeah, we should already... reach out to Seth Rogen and be like, hey, Cavaliers are great for healing, they are great for healing, oh, Lord, I'm I'm up. 14 years old. oh wait, what, uh, <laughs> Is that Pippi again? No. no, this is York. No. Let's, let's just potty break everybody. Yeah. See if they were all snoozing. They're all snoozing. And they're say. all sniffing now. Go potty. Go potty. Go, go potty. potty. Puppies. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Me too, Pippi, since we just got home. Pippi went to school. The Pippi went to school. Good girl, oh, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. Go potty, Pippi. Pippi went to school and it was really, really great. The secretary snuggled her and um, the, the school nurse, um, her office is right there. And so I think she just kind of learned our schedule and she just um, is always there when, when we come in. And so she got to snuggle, she got snuggled by the nurse and then um, and somebody else, I wasn't sure what role she filled, but uh, another staff member. Hey, where's your poodle? Beatrix! Oh, stinger. Go potty. Careful. Whoa. Go potty. Where did your, um, um I finished it while I was getting dressed. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Which one is my, my simple one? I'm about to skinny. Go potty. 
Seth Rogan. I, Seth I never. Rogan, but um, I didn't even know Seth Rogan had a Cavalier. Our dogs are so good for grief. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> That losing a 14 year old cavalier, that's so sad. Yeah. That's a cavalier that had a nice long life, though. Um, our fireplace would be so, our stove would be so pretty if it had a fire going in it. We should do this in the wintertime. I, yeah, that's, I, was the the thing. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Uh oh, what happened here? Mm. Uh, we need to do their weight checks. Oh, you want to we do need that? To get weights. All right, meow. All right, so we got um, I need to find the little. Uh, did anything happen with uh, Nate that you were trying to reach? Um, I never heard back. Yeah, I never, never heard, heard back. Anything. Yeah, and we know that um, uh, um, we Sue, we know that Sue you know, was able to reach out probably as far as we were able to get, which yeah. was um, she has um, a link to um, the entertainment industry and was able to get a hold or not a hold of, but was able to find um, the contact information for his, his agent, his, yeah, yeah his, his, agent. his yeah. publicist. Yeah. Um, so we didn't hear back. We didn't hear anything. Um, but he was also on a trip that whole time. So um, it was probably a bad time to reach out. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, man. Yeah. I, I think that probably now it would probably be a little bit like, uh, what are they called? The uh, ambulance chaser lawyers. Like if we were to be like, oh, hey, in the time of your grief here, can we sell you a puppy? Oh, that's the thing is oh, you know, we, if, yeah. you know, if it was Seth Rogen, yeah, if it, was Seth Rogen, it would be a whole promotional thing. Yeah, it wouldn't be selling. It would yeah, be selling doggies. It would be a promotion. Because program. the price that they're paying is basically the constant yeah, <laughs> promotion. Yeah, the constant promotion. Their thing. Yeah. That would be that would be too awesome. That would be too awesome. Like, yeah, we got our dog from the Burn Cavaliers. Yeah, I don't know. Hi. <laughs> I'm so curious now what kind of dog he had. If it was a, uh, I pictured Zelda as a blown. When you said Zelda, I, I pictured Zelda, a blown. Yeah, I they were saying the same thing. I pictured Indy actually. I pictured an Indy sort of puppy. Hi. He's like, yeah, I'm a very cute puppy. You're such a good boy. Is Pippi going to fall asleep? I think she's falling over. Watch her. She's she's falling over. She can't stay awake. Oh, uh, 15 hours. Man, just 15 hours ago. Yeah, he, he put out uh, a whole thing about it. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh. She's really cute. Oh, man, she was really pretty. Poor Pippi's so tired. <laughs> Come here, Pippi. Let me cradle you. That's so sad. Oh, she was such a don't. she was such a pretty plenum. Oh, and she appeared in a number of Rogan's movies. Oh, that's cool. Daisy does not want them to nurse. How do they eat their food? How do they deal with eating? They were doing pretty well. They did really well. Why did Mr. Darcy just... <laughs> She'd stare into your soul with her gigantic buggy eyes. <laughs> Is it Seth Rogen, son? Yeah. Out of my coffee. Oh, she was. Oh, that's so sad. She was so shy that no one adopted her as a baby. Mm, that's so sad. Yeah. Aww. Her big eyeballs and her intense eye contact. Oh, that's so sad. Like, I saw a tire. Why are you? I've got a whole bunch of pups. In yeah, my it's cozy. It's, it's warm and it smells good. good. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Beatrix. Hi, Beatrix. Mm. Oh, you're so sweet. It's fine as the 
gym teacher walked in and she had all the students with her. And so um, Mrs. Schultz was like, oh, you picked a good time to come in. And so like all of the kids filed in and, <laughs> and so we got lots of pets. She got lots of loving. Oh, goodness. I'm so glad that we um, started doing that. It's such a nice opportunity to socialize them because it's yeah. such a, a um, safe bet that, yeah. um, you know, things can always go wrong, but it is always, I don't think we've had a bad, like a negative experience for the puppies yet. They've never been scared and it always just boosts their confidence. And um, when we take them, so we take turns and then, you know, after a couple of weeks, they've had a couple of opportunities to go. And so um, that's really awesome to see how they grow over time because they start going in and they know who the different staff members are. And so when we go in, they start um, reaching for them when, when we walk in the door and it's, it's really sweet. And then they have the school psychi psychologist has a um, has a um, a therapy dog and uh, and so we her name is Olivia she's a golden retriever she's really sweet and we use her as a, a more socialization and it's they're so cute with her because she's a big golden retriever. And you're just and, saying her nose is like the size of their head. Yeah, like oh gosh, those and say their nose, or their her, her, her nose. nose is like the, if you take York, uh -huh. her nose is like the size of her body. Oh my god! I mean, this her whole snout. The whole snout, the snout. is oh my the gosh. size of her body. Oh my goodness! So she really would. Yeah, and so then her her nose is like the yeah. size of her head right here. Oh, hey, York! Oh, York is so sweet. Isn't she sweet? Oh, York is sweet. She is really I mean, they're all they're really, all really sweet they're all really sweet they all have their own really unique personality traits um like what's funny though is like if you were to take them like at a macro level mm -hmm. they're all very similar right like they all, all have all very similar traits mm -hmm. but when you look at them much more closely yeah like they compare side by side they have unique very unique things about them yeah like, I they're love, all amazing cavaliers. I love how uh, Beatrix is so confident and it's just like, I know. Like, she will strut around and follow you no matter where you're going. She's going to be really good at ESA dog because of that. Yeah. Like, she's going to be able to, she will have no, and the thing, the reason that's good for ESA dogs is, um, like they won't be you don't like, want them to be like, too oh, shy because oh, do, do you yeah. need help? Do you, um, I, don't, I don't know. Do you want me to come over? Like it'll be like. And if there's like something in the way, or if um, oftentimes it's a it's a stressful environment. Yeah. Like if um, if kids are shouting, if there's an argument, if um, there's something going on, and so for them to have that confidence is really really good because um, it's not going to shy them away from going and helping their person. Oh. Oh. Oh, and so the school's asking about Pippi's home. And so mm. I was telling them a little bit about Pippi's home. They love learning about where all the puppies are going and who they're going to and wait. Um and then that's right. Yeah. I can't believe you don't heat that up like I do. I did. It is heavy. I, oh no, you did not heat it up like I do. <laughs> You didn't hit it, heat it to heavenly levels. <laughs> no, you heat it to um, melting all over mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> They're so tired. Man. They had a busy morning. They had a tough night, too. Because, um... As soon as they woke up, I brought them out here, and we played quite a bit out here. And then they went into the, their, they went and napped over in the <laughs> their little pen in the dining room. They slept in our bedroom overnight. I was just, I was, I was telling the live that it was kind of tough because they're getting bold and and, yeah. strong and confident enough to pull themselves out. When we they don't sleep. want to move them out of our room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to. No. I don't want to, but we're going to have to. I know. That's the best one. 
I do love the idea of having them in the, the sleeping corner, just like we did mm -hmm. with the last guys. And, and I them. enjoy bringing them out here. Too. Yeah. That hasn't been fun. Um, I think there was a huge difference with the puppies when we, even before we sent them home, uh -huh. when they had that um, time to be tucked in and put to bed. Yeah. It really helped them. It helped teach them the day and night yeah. and like when it's time to really like cut the crap and go to sleep. Yeah. Um, and I think it helped them transition really well because like here, it's one thing when or really being at any breeders, you know, we have the setup so that they have a place anywhere really, but um, anywhere, anytime we can make, we can make it work. But it's not going to be like that when they go home to their yeah. families. Their families are going to have a specific pen and set up for them. And so it's kind of what we did with Remy's litter was we kept a very specific pen and a very specific spot to be just for sleeping. And um, it seems to have made a huge uh -huh. difference for the puppies. And that last week, and even with Kiwi, when he came back, they just did really well because they knew what that, they know what that pen is for. They, they learn what going to bed is all about. Yep. And really up until then, we didn't really have a, a bedtime routine for them. We didn't really, you know, cause they, they sleep kind of all day. They just sleep on and off and nighttime is just another time that they're sleeping. And so we didn't really think much of it when, when they're in this pen all day. Um, anyway, you know, for, for their living quarters. Yeah. Um, and so having a play area and then, the only thing I don't want to do is I don't want to leave them in the, I don't want to put them in the puppy nursery to play and then just leave them in there. Yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah, I did. I'd rather bring them out where we are. And... Yeah, me too. Oh. I love when they just get so tired that they. Keep duties. I was telling uh, school about Pippi's family. Oh, yeah. Pippi's brother is a Blenheim that uh, um, he actually looks um, kind of like Molly, <laughs> where he's got a lot of white. Um, and I think he's got some chestnut spots. But they are Pippi and her brother are going to be so cute together <laughs> with her. Um, because she's not also a blonde, she's got the contrasting black tricolor with his um, white and chestnut blonde. Oh, yeah. they're so cute! Yeah, they might even have to get a third. And get a uh, black and tan. Get a black and tan to kind of like make it come full circle. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's something about Cavaliers. Drew and I were talking about it. Somebody said something about um, when you get one, it's like potato chips. You just can't stop. And Drew and I were talking about how true that is because there's something about there being the four coat colors and the different ways that they can um, be expressed. And so when you get one, you learn what you like about them and what you don't like. And then you want to get another one that you know, kind of fine tunes those. Yeah, they can fill in the gaps on the and like. Uh, and then they're a playmate for your other one, and so then you're like, okay, well, what about a third to really add some dynamic? <laughs> <laughs> and a third, really, when we added um, Robin to yeah. Missy and Spike, it was a lot of fun because yeah. Missy and Spike, you know, they were just pair a pair. Um, they they just towel around everything everywhere with each other. Yeah, when we added Robin. Um, it made it, it made them into a group. And so that was really when their pack leadership began to emerge when Robin was a puppy yeah. and Missy really had to emerge as the alpha to take charge. And that's really how it all came to be. Shortly thereafter, we got Daisy coming into the mix. Yeah, Daisy was a month later <laughs> and she potty trained Robin for us. Yeah, that was. The, Robin uh, was pottying everywhere. Yeah. I'll and Daisy came to us trained on the pellets. And so um, she, we Wait. put Robin in with her yeah. in the laundry room with the pellet tray. 
in like a week, Robin was drained out of pelts. I was telling them about boot camping where if like we've got one or two pups that aren't quite making the connection with mm -hmm. uh, using the, the uh, potty pan, that will boot camp them by putting them into uh, one of the big mm -hmm. uh, crates and you know filling up basically two thirds of it with a, a tray. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like impossible yeah, for them to go so anywhere else. Like, yeah, force them, and then the little bit of space that's left is basically their bed. That's and, yeah, where they sleep and where they can eat and everywhere else is it's just. It's been a while since we've had to do that. It has been a minute since we've had to do that. And these guys had kind of a rough start to their training exercises, thanks to me. Um, and both, they both have us. Well, come around. They have really. Yeah. They have done really, really, really well. There's, there's something. They seem to really. They want to go yeah. somewhere else. They don't want to. Like, they yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because like... even like when they had their accidents out here, I noticed that because I laid this blanket down to catch the accidents, but each of them stepped outside, outside the blanket yeah. and then would go potty. Yeah, it's and like, so they they really don't want to potty on their stuff. They, yeah, I think they recognize that blankets and that sort of stuff is bedding for them to sleep on. So, oh. I'm drinking my coffee. Mm. Mm. Sorry. It's always that way. <laughs> love you. And I love you too. Oh my goodness. Mm. Uh, can you see, oh, hey, hey. oh, she's so relaxed. Like her, her heart rate is just nice and slow. She looks like you're just holling a. Uh, oh, we're down. Oh man, we got called. We're keeping Bella home, right? We are. Oh, we have a school. Eh, it's her just vomiting yesterday. Uh oh. I'm gonna do one more day and then I go, I have to go to school tomorrow. Yeah, it was, so Bella, um, she gets sick, uh, when she gets sick with anything, her first and last symptom is vomiting. And so, um, as many of you probably know, she got sick a couple of weeks ago and was vomiting a lot. She was, uh, I was on live, live on YouTube. And I was on the live. Um, and so she had a head cold that time and it was making her vomit. And then um, that all improved. And then last week, pink eye was going around the school and she came down with pink eye. And so of course that was making her vomit. And um, she started, She so she started getting better over the weekend. And then Monday morning, yeah, yesterday we were one. Oh, I know. I'm just yeah. trying to keep work. So Monday morning, Mike and Susie were going to stop by to um, say goodbye before they headed back to Connecticut. And it was kind of like it was a little bit out of their way to from where they were to come and see us. Um, but I think we kind of guilted them. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so sweet that we were going to stop by, and we really wanted to see them before they went back to Connecticut. But the storm. Yeah. Um, made it so that the they could not pull their camper aside without getting stuck and we had ended up we decided to keep the kids home from school so that they could see mike and susie before um before they left and let's get her i know she's like what noodle <laughs> um and so we kept all the kids home from school with, before realizing that they that mike and susie weren't gonna be able to come anyway um and so it was a good thing because right around one o'clock, Bella just out of nowhere started vomiting. Yeah. And um, it would have been awful for her to be thrown up at school. Yeah, she would have so, been at school at that point. Yeah, she would have been at school and it would have been halfway through the day. And up until she had thrown up, she felt fine. She was acting completely fine. Um, and so it was real sudden. And if it hadn't been for our plan to see Mike and Susie in the morning, yeah. that didn't end up working. Then, um, she would have been at school, been school and she would have been thrown up at school. Nobody likes to throw up at school. Yeah. So we were really glad that, you know, the, that happened it's, or that everything happens for a reason. The way like, yeah. We keep saying this. it's really, it's a small thing, but it's just for weird. Bella, it was big. Yeah. It was just weird how like everything happens for a reason. Oh. She's like kind of waking up. Her eyes are like whenever you kiss her, her eyes kind of go open a little bit. Oh, oh, Pippi, purple Pippi. I think she's gonna. Uh, 
I think she's going to be really, really good for Olaf. Yeah. yeah. Because she's not like um, a super rowdy puppy. Mm -hmm. She's not going to be like the annoying little sister. No, she's she's pretty chill. She's pretty chill. I wish we had um, some photos from when uh, Daisy was her age. Was there? Was their age? Oh, you do? Because mm -hmm. it would be really nice to be able to compare. That video, I need to take too. Uh, I was saying it'd be nice to compare like paw size. Uh, you know, when she was five weeks old to these guys, to see if, like you know, is Pippi gonna end up being bigger than her? I think Pippi's gonna be big. She's just gonna be more like Spike size. Hmm. That's pretty big. Mm -hmm. She's big now. <laughs> yeah, she's just she's like a round and puppy size. She's not as fluffy. Yeah, she's not as fluffy. She, yeah, and she's just a a limp noodle. I'll be right back. Do you, do you need anything? Nope. Do you want to warm up? Sure. Okay. I have to open up the live chat. Puppy. <laughs> Never gonna get old. Never ever ever. <laughs> Pippi, I'm holding Pippi. to make you jealous. Well, I'm not trying, but I, I guess I know that I am. That she's like, I can't, she's so sweet. I, I, I don't want to put her down. It's because of the, the trip, the visit to the school. It's, um, it's like so much stimulation. Uh, first was the drive and I always let Daisy escort us out. And so Daisy walks us to the car, and then we say goodbye to Daisy um, at the car. And I asked her to keep Daisy outside while we're gone so that then when we pull in, Daisy can greet us at the car and escort us back in. Because um, I feel bad, you know, driving off with her puppy, not bringing her with. She doesn't know where they're going, and it kind of goes against um, her instincts. So luckily she trusts me. Um, but so I worked out this little system with her so that um, she... I think she feels more comfortable because she she sees us go and she sees us come back. And then we always potty in the grass before coming inside. You're such a good girl. Is you okay? It's not like she's about to throw up. Don't eat if your tummy doesn't feel good. Okay. Aw, Stu, your, your dog is 16. Oh my goodness. Dang. Man, Daisy's three and I, I'm really sick. Like, I'm already worried about when she gets older. I already made sure that it was all good with Drew that when we 
her plan in her last letter that we can keep the girl, the best, the best girl. And uh, so I'm excited for that because at least that part will be, um, her last letter won't be right before she passes away, of course. Um, it'll be when she's like six, maybe. Um, and so she'll still have quite a bit of li li life behind her, or, you know, to go. And so what'll be fun is when we keep her predecessor, when we keep her successor, successor. Um, she'll get to kind of raise her and they'll probably be good buddies, kind of like Paris and Vienna. Um, because if, if Daisy has that litter at age six and she lives to be, hopeful, let's be conservative, we'll just say 12. 12. Um, that's half of her life that she'll get to have with them. And I love Daisy to pieces. So hopefully, or I think Daisy loves me to pieces. I hope her puppy will love me to pieces. <laughs> you love Daisy more than to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I love more. I love Daisy more than she loves oh, me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> she, she loves you just as much. She is definitely your dog. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl. Sweetie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yummy. I know. <laughs> Especially with coffee. Wow. Everybody really just calm You can bring them out to play. And <laughs> the, oh, they play. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. They play. First, I couldn't keep them in here. <laughs> yeah. That was part of the fun, though. Should I get another bite? No. No? I, I need mean, something refreshing. I just can't put her down. Oh, sure you can. You can put her right here. <laughs> no, she's so sweet. <laughs> I know there's like, what, like 40 people who would probably love to reach through and just grab her. <laughs> yeah, I'm going her for you. Ah, I was going to say. You want to? Okay. Um, I'll take her in my lap, sure. You can bring your little thing here. Her eyes are all wide, like, no, you're not putting me down. What's going on here? Hey, sweetie. Good girl. Aw, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Okay, here's the thing. We're going to turn you around just like this. The mom guilt and the dad guilt for, like, dogs and puppies is just as bad. Well, I mean, not just as bad, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> like, there, the Drew told you about the one night when... Um, we forgot, so some context, we hadn't had any sleep. This was when Bella was really, really sick. Oh, yeah. um, the house, like we, you know, dinner was still on the, leftover dinner was still on the table from the night before. Like yeah. it was, we were, it was a mess. And um, we had not brought Spike and Macchiato in from outside. Oh, man. Oh. Um, we let them out one last time, like 1130 at night. And we didn't bring them back in because we fell asleep. And um, at about five o'clock in the morning, we woke up and realized that yeah. we hadn't let them in. Yeah, and it, you want to describe no. how they were? Yeah. You? So, so I go to the back uh, door. Like first, I, our guilt was like, "Oh my god, right, we oh were, yeah. <laughs> we felt terrible." And then you know, all the other you know worst case scenarios start popping through your head because we have coyotes around yeah, here. So they're, that's that's like, they're, D-E-D. -D. Yeah. D-E-D. <laughs> D-E-D. Um, so I run to the back door real fast and um, like I'm about to start hollering for them. And before I can even get a, a syllable out, I see them sprinting across the backyard <laughs> going from the left to The sun is right. like starting to come up. Yeah, so the sun it's like, start, yeah, sun's starting to come starting up. starting to yeah. get a little light out. Yeah, you're getting those rays through the, the low clouds and stuff like that. And there's you can kind of see the, um, it's not really fog, but kind of like the mist mm. right above the, the grass. But they are like full bore sprinting, just running around <laughs> the yard like they were running around, like they were having a blast all night, basically. And Spike had this cutest like um, dust marks on his head. Like you could see where yeah. they had been like crawling under things. Lord <laughs> only knows where they went. Yeah. 
I mean, we ha we have a. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, but they 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 could they, they didn't leave the property, but um, yeah. on the property. On the property, that they could sure they, they can crawl they into like yeah. into our barn. God, yeah. Oh my gosh, like they could have oh, anywhere. I never even really thought about that one that they couldn't get into the they barn. The barn, barn, yeah. Uh, they hear any sorts of animals in there. I'm sure they're going after them. That's why I'm just so curious. <laughs> um, what's funny is even before that, we were talking about attaching our GoPro to yeah one of the dog's collars and just. Sending them out. Yeah, I'm just letting them go. It's too bad we hadn't done that. <laughs> oh man, that would have been a blast, didn't it? I'm just afraid that a GoPro is too. It's too heavy. We'll have to get something else. But I've seen people putting GoPros in their cats. Anyway. Well, then I guess we need a different GoPro. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if there's if anybody has a recommendation for like a smaller GoPro style camera. Oh yeah, recommendations for. Small GoPro for um, recording that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's what we want to do is we wanted to attach um, like two cameras, maybe like to one, one to Spike, uh, to one of the boys, and then um, to one of our adventurous girls. Who yeah. would you say? Robin. Robin. Yeah. yeah. Spike and, and Robin. And Robin. Or Remy. Or Remy. Yeah. Remy is very, very adventurous for, for anybody that doesn't know. She's Remy, like, so when I was pulling out of the house one day, that little snot, she's, well, he scared me half to D E T H. <sighs> um, <laughs> because uh, I got, I pull out of the house and um, it's really hard to see it around, but the dog's always like, like kind of, when you're pulling through the house or through the driveway, they all kind of just encircle the car and then just follow you. And like the car moves and the dogs just all kind of go with, yeah, the, car. Go with the car. Well, um, Remy kind of just like did a duck and let me just drive over her. <laughs> and so he texts me and he's like, you know, you just ran over Remy. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and I look in the rear view and she's just standing up looking at me. Yeah. It's just, it's <laughs> and she just, she just yeah. ducked. And, yeah. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, she did this. Yeah, she did this thing where um, she just snuck herself right in between the tires and just waited there as she, Elizabeth drove over. <laughs> Scared the yeah. crap out of me. <laughs> where I didn't, I gave her the worst wording for that. It was, it was really bad. I think you're. Um, I was doing. Okay. He was crabby at me. No, no, I was kind of doing it to like. You oh, you're trying to scare. Just me? kind of give me a little tease. Oh, I thought you were in a bad mood. You were trying to be. Hmm. You're being passive aggressive. That, that could be being passive aggressive. That could be possible. <laughs> I think being, it was that. I was being a crowded passive aggressive a hole. <laughs> well, I didn't go that far. <laughs> the ping pong phone. The ping pong phone. What's that? The ping pong phone. It's toy. It's a toy. On the iPad iPhone. On the iPad iPhone. <laughs> oh. Is it a game? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. You can text. Ping pong? Call. Mm. The ping pong is on there. You can text mm. and call. All right, Bella. Now yeah. you can do it. Did you grab it? Oops. Mm. I hit store. I don't know why I didn't go. Just you're gonna go to Apple or you're gonna go to App Store. How did you get to it, sweetie? Oh, just go to the App Store. It's right there. Okay. You know what I mean? Now that you unlocked, I think it's yeah. that's what happened. Was it unlocked? Oh boy, I'm so excited. I don't even know what this is. This is an app game. Pink pong pong. Mm -hmm. This thing needs a Windex. <laughs> yeah, it does. It needs a little bit more than that. Annabella, Annabella, Bella. Hey, they're sleeping puppies. Yeah, baby, wake up, puppies. Oh, so it's pink phone, baby shark phone. Yeah, that's it. Oh, she's got to do some math. Annabella. 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 Hey, it's like a phone. If you want, if you want that app. You need to calm down because you're waking up the pups. So it uses the concept of a phone to teach. Right. 
This one makes my it's hair. Just crawl and chat. That's not a It's like, um, or it's an art. It's yeah. a it's simulation. Just, yeah, simulation thing. Yeah. All right, sweetie, it's downloading. Right there. We gotta turn off. You are the silliest little puppy. Oh, 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 you're awake? Did you say anything? Still loading here. Let's pause this. You know Maybe what? it'll go faster. I wish it, if you go uh, and sit on your bed, it will go faster. Oh, it'll go faster right next to the yeah, internet. because you're right next to the internet then. Oh, Beatrix is like, let me roll over and give you my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jenna, oh, my are you Jenna's, me, She was having some serious dreams. Holy mackerel. Hi. Beatrix. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> This is the Mr. Darcy. She's Mr. like, I'm not going to open my eyes, but I will give you my belly. Mr. Darcy, what are you doing? Mr. Mrs. Schultz, was so, one of the students walked in, and she was like, another puppy? And Mrs. Schultz was like, this is Pippi. <laughs> and, um, and the student was like, is that a different one? And she was like, um, and they, were like they said, is that the same one as last time? And she's like, that was Mr. Darby. Darby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, we're getting to know, she's getting to know all the puppies oh. and their names. I was surprised that she remembered his name. I know, because that was, what, Friday? Yeah, well, I think it was Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Hi, Mr. Darcy. Oh, Mr. Darcy. Who's a good one? Is it done? No. Oh. We can't do it yet. Um, we have to What's wrong? What happened, Mr. Darcy? Mr. Darcy died. Oh, jeez. I know Mr. Darcy. There's something that's gone to the shoes. Yes. Okay, goodbye. Good boy. 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 The terms of service. Let them know you aren't going to break any rules. That sort of thing. Promise oh. that you're going to follow rules. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. There it is. Do. Oh, the school bus. Uh, call them nice. real quick. What time is it, Tim? Aw, uh, the camera's so far away that we can even see the puppies. Aw. I can't move it too close because the cord is so short. The puppies okay. are so far Mr. away. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. There, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Much closer now. The bright. Yeah. Is like I don't know why it looks so bright. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm ready to go shower though. Hi. I love how these guys they had just so much fun out here that Tuckering them out. And so they just said, okay, we're going to take a snooze. Uh, Kelsey said, oh my, did you run over Drew next? <laughs> Kelsey, I love that. That's very funny, Kelsey. That is really funny. I wanted to. <laughs> I was so frustrated. You were very frustrated. I was mad. Well, and he says, you know, you, you, you just ran over Remy. You ran over Remy, right? Oh, my God. Your mama's watching. I hope you saw Kel or I, I hope you saw Beatrix rolling over for her belly rub. And Kelsey, Beatrix is the most confident oh. little puppy. She is so she awesome. She is going to be so perfect yeah, for you. She's going to be a great ESA dog. 
she's really confident and she's very confident like with herself. She wants to, um, she doesn't, um, she's not like a follower of the puppy. She doesn't need any other puppies to be doing something in order to go do it herself. Um, yeah. to like find the courage and she loves, loves, loves people. And what's really cool about her too, is that, um, she really seems to look to people for, I don't know if you want to call it guidance, but, um, direction. Yeah. When, um, she's unsure of something, she comes to us or looks to us for like, you know, it's okay. Like when we took them outside, that was a good example. Uh, um, whenever there's something new or a change. Uh, hey, take that to your. Yeah, why don't you go take that to your. Yeah, take it to your bed, your bed sweet time. Tea. Yeah, because we can't have it in here while the live's going, honey bun. Love Thank you, sweetie. sweetie. Love you. Thank you. You're the best, Bella. Love you. She's like, I got my phone. Yeah, she's got pink the, pong the phone. pink pong phone. Pink pong phone. She was asking me me yesterday for it and i thought it was like an actual like, toy or something oh. and i was like oh maybe for christmas oh she was asking me for something that sounded like a toy a couple of weeks ago yeah exactly and, and so, i said the same thing we'll put it on your christmas list yeah oh Ooh, what'd you find mr darcy what's this this sounds like a fun toy oh man i could lay down and take a nap Mm -hmm. how, how bad was my snoring last night? How bad did I snore? Um, I don't know because I was really, really flipping tired. Well, that must be good then. It wasn't waking me up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell because I was just so tired. That, mm -hmm. Like, I laid down to help Bella settle and I was and out. out. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> I didn't even, I usually um, turn on something to listen to and I didn't even do that. Yeah. I had my phone right there ready to you two were like out cold with one another once you guys snuggled up. Mm -hmm. Sir Darcy is digging in your lap for something. I don't know. Oh, I can't find my AirPod case. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. <laughs> Again with the lost case. Hi. Hey. Hey. Oh, Bella. Bella is playing with her pink pong pong. Her pink pong pong. And it's a singing baby shark. And so she set up her iPad against our bed so that she could step back. And so she's doing all the dances. Going do 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 Baby shark. I love our Bella Bella. She's so silly. She's such a sweetie. Um, I keep wanting to, I need to tell Mike and Susie the story after their message where they, um, this is like really, I need to remind me to tell them a story about, um, kids and t-shirts. Kids and t-shirts, right. Mike, Mike, Mike and Susie, Susie kids, kids and t-shirts. Um, it's a story from when we were living in Castlemaine. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to think of kids in t-shirts in Castlemaine. 
Um, I forgot what it is you're talking about. Or I guess not kids in t-shirt. May in t-shirt. Oh, May in t-shirt. Do you know this right now? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. I, oh. Oh, man. I just wanted to tell X just because that's a good story to show them kind of. <laughs> I don't think you know this right Oh, uh, I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> or rather, the lack of one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even that May's maturity was she was like seven and she was she had a hoodie and so she still like wore that over. Try to get a signature. Things are to go, Bobby. Oh, weight checks. Weight checks, weight checks, weight checks. Alright, I will go get the stuff right now. <laughs> right meow. Oh, I didn't call school either. Yeah, do that then. Call, <laughs> you call school. I'll, I'll call school real quick. Oh my gosh, that would be useful. That would be the way I didn't do that. Wow. You know where the scale is? Um, hold on. Where, where did the scale go? Hi there, Robin. My name is Elizabeth Warren. I'm calling because Annabella does not need to be picked up for school today. She's going to be staying home. I want to let the driver know. She's on bus 23. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Um, the scale is right here. Oh. Oh, oh goodness, who is I need to go. It's, it's Rio. Rio. Rio, Rio, Rio. I know what you need to do, Mr. Darcy. See that little that little swing around. Go potty. Go potty, Mr. Darcy. Go potty. Go potty. Hey. Go potty, Mr. Darcy. Go potty. What are you doing? No. Very silly. What a good boy, good boy, good go potty. Yeah, good go potty, good boy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Good boy, yeah. That's a good boy, go potty. Yeah, that's a good boy, go potty, huh? Are you a big boy? Yes, you are. You're a big boy, go potty in the tray. Yes, you are. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Come on, come on, come on. It's just my It's just my Baby, it's just me. Uh, Mr. Uh, Darcy just went potty in the tray. Yay, he, was doing a little, he was doing a little circle around, so I picked him up and put him in the tray. He popped out and he kind of was sniffing your shoes and then. Uh, I moved your shoes and then he crawled back in and went by on his own. Aww. Good boy. Yeah. Who's a good boy? 
Who's the boy? High five. All yeah. right. I found I found the log. Hooray, so the log. Yeah, I never have it. So we have it this time. The log has been found. Usually, um, we're just doing. We need the weights for deworming and not for comparison. But this week it's for comparison. So I'm glad that we have it. All right. So, oh, are we hold switching? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I was just wondering, are we switching over to pounds? It's more in poundage now. Poundage. Pounds and ounces. We're starting with Indiana. Oh. Okay, okay. Since I got this first here, can we do no? Okay. Sure. Okay. All right, Mr. Darcy was two pounds, four ounces last week. Okay, here we go. Two pounds, ten, ten ounces. ounces. Ten, ten ounces even. Good boy. Good oh boy. Where's that big boy? Are you a big boy? Good boy. Good boy. All right, so India next. Yep. Indiana. So India last week oh. was two pounds, five ounces. He's definitely bigger than that. Oh, yeah. He's solid. Oh, yeah, he's a solid doggy. Let's see, does he go over three? No. Oh, no. Oh, he's two pounds, ten ounces. Yeah, well. he's like exactly the same weight as Mr. Darcy. Huh. They both had, they're both 2.4, 2.5. Two pounds, ten ounces for Indy. Good boy, Indy. Pippi is next. Pippi, long swings. Zippy. Where are you going? Hi. <laughs> You're in that voice. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm saying like they're, they're attracted to it. Mm. That's why I use it. Oh, so Pippi last week was two pounds eight ounces, and she is a block. Brick. <laughs> no. How I say it like that? I thought she was gonna go over three. Huh? Hmm. Two pounds fifteen ounces. Well, you don't want to lean it off. It's just gonna make it. Yeah, two pounds, fifteen ounces. Two pounds, fifteen ounces. We were trying to see if she would clear so three pounds. Oh, so close. So close. Almost. Almost. Yeah. They don't get dewormings this week. They get them again next week. We're actually we're due to give all the dogs in the house the dewormings. Um, yeah. We just give them dewormings like every six months just to deworm them <laughs> because. Um, like we've talked about before, do the dewormer has such a high safety profile that it can be used preventatively for um, really almost any time. Jenna? Are you in Dad's coffee? No, oh, it's empty. Um, Jenna, Jenna? Jenna is next. She was two pounds even at four weeks. Okay, that's Jenna. No. No. Yorkie, Yorkie, you're next. Aww. Two pounds, seven ounces. Two pounds, seven ounces. Good girl. Oh, you're a ping pong. <laughs> we gotta be careful because it plays Big Shark. I know. Good Random. Girl. It's a good girl. Are you Yorkie? You're Yorkie. You're Yorkie. You're nexty. Yorkie. Yorkie. All right. Yorkie was one pound, 14 ounces last week. Wow. Are we gonna clear two pounds, little man? Oh, <laughs> you just, just amazing. You're just amazing. Give me your, your sweet, sweet flesh. You are so cute. You are so cute. Don't wipe your butt on me. <laughs> you, no stinker. Mm. Okay. Uh, she was, oh yeah, one, one pound, 14 ounces. One pound, 14 ounces. I love Daisy's puppies so yes, much. They yeah. all have like um Kelsey said that she fell in love with Daisy's attitude. And that's why she wanted a Daisy puppy. And yeah. um there's something about what she said that uh, ever since she remarked about that, I noticed that Two pounds, all, five of, ounces. Um, all of Daisy's puppies uh, have yeah. like they each kind of catch a little bit of that attitude. <laughs> Okay. And oh, I'm so sweet. 
So she went from one pound, 14 ounces, to two pounds, five ounces. Mm -hmm. They're all gaining like half a pound. They're all gaining about, about six pounds. Right, about sorry, six, six ounces. pounds. Six ounces. <laughs> yeah, six ounces. Six OZs. Uh, last, <clears throat> lastly is Beatrix. The Beatrix. She too is at one pound, 14 ounces. Yeah, the Beatrix. And she, um, the Beatrix. She and York were like the same birth weight. They were 172. What are you? No, 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 no. The pee -pee Go potty. Go potty. Okay. The Beatrix, she was what? One pound, 14 ounces? Where did the towels go? Right there. She's underneath. Paper towels? Oh, not the paper towels. I was just saying, I've been using that white one. Well, I'm, I need to circle P right there. Oh, no. That doesn't soak up urine very well. Ready? Ready to go in? There we go. Oh my gosh, there's two giant pea spots. Oh no. There's one she did, and then there's a giant cold one. Oh, yeah. Two pounds, three ounces. Same. Well, I think it's the only thing there. Here's, oh, oh yeah. here it is. Two pounds, three ounces for the Beatrix. So, yep, Kelsey, the Beatrix is two pounds, three ounces. Good girl. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Beatrix. Hey, Bella, can you turn it down a little bit? I'm going to turn that down, sweetie Just pie. a little bit, sweetie. Thank you. Mm. She is dancing. I feel bad. She's doing dance. dance. She's dancing. Okay, two pounds and what? Three ounces. Two pounds, three ounces. Two. Oh, and in is... fact, I need to grab the little medical records and get them started. Andy, hey, buddy. Andy, good boy. Good boy, Andy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Huh? Good boy. Hey, Drew, those two packages of medical records that we got in the mail? They're in the, uh, uh, oh, are they in the wardrobe? Yes, in the wardrobe. Oh, the yeah. Top left. <laughs> good boy. Nice good boy. Who's a good boy, Andy? Nice good boy. It's okay, man. Yeah, it's okay. Good boy. I'm not going to you. Good boy. Good boy. Started on these before. Um, before we do vaccines, so that way when we do vaccines, they right. are. I've got to back up the camera just a little bit so that you guys can see. So you can see this puppy pile. Oh, you guys are missing that out on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on.
Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're really like signing over. Yeah. They're just going to be a million pounds. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did your mama, did mama leave you? Did mama leave you guys? Oh, are you eating some of mama's food? Um, and then we also need to, I'm filling out their health record right now, just to kind of get these started. Um, but the other thing that we'll be doing is registering the litter of puppies um, with the breed club so that they can have their their papers, you know, the people talk about their dogs coming with papers. Um, we paper our litters and they come with the paper, the registration papers so families can register them. Um, by no means is it something you have to do. Um, we raise our puppies all the same and it's not going to make a difference if you register them or not. Um, but we give you a copy of the pedigree so that you don't have to register your dog so that you could get the pedigree. Um, cause the, the pedigree is a, is an optional purchase when you register them. And so we provide families with a copy of the pedigree. Um, we get that when we register the puppies, um, we order the pedi copy of the pedigree along with, with the registration papers. Um, just so that you guys, the families don't have to just pay that extra, that additional fee. Um, if you don't register them, we encourage you to keep the, the registration papers because it still has um, their mom's name, their dad's name, um, their wealth, their birth date, um, their breed, um, our information. And so it serves as like, um, I liken it to a birth certificate because it's got their, it's like their birth information. Yeah, it's like filing for a birth certificate when your baby's born in the hospital. You are such a little nugget. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Did 
Daisy's like, maybe I should eat some of my food before my puppies eat it. Um, and then with Remy's puppies, we also, another thing that we did a little bit differently was um, we started our vaccinations in time so that we could give both rounds because their first series of vaccinations as puppies has, it, it's for their support vaccine and it covers all of those, those big bad ones that you um, have heard about over the years that are associated with um, like pet store dogs. Um, but diseases like parvo, distemper, um, probably some lesser known ones like lepto, um, adenovirus. Um, but it, it, the, so we give the first round and then um, we used to have the We'd give the first round right before puppies went home um, to try to give families enough time to get them in to see their vet for the second round. Um, but even that kind of, um, so it gives you kind of like a time limit. And so we decided to start because we can give it as early as six weeks. And so we've started giving their first round at six weeks. And then we can give their second round anywhere between like two and four weeks later. Or so either second dose at eight weeks so that that series is completed before they go home. And they don't have to worry about um, getting the whole series. What's up, sweetie? Okay, Dad's in the kitchen right now if you want to go ask him for something. Can I help you? You guys are all, you guys woke up with a lot of energy. Um, and so the next vaccine that they'll need from the vet will be the rabies. And that's one that we can't do because it needs to be sent into the county and there's usually like a, a fee when you when you do your rabies tag for your dogs. Um, that's one that we wouldn't we can't do even if we wanted to do it. So um, one of the reasons that we <clears throat> didn't do both of the vaccines in that that first series originally was because we wanted to encourage families to get the get the puppies into the vet. But with time, we've realized that it doesn't really accomplish that. It really more, um, if anything, it just makes it, it kind of just stresses families a little bit more trying to get in before, um, while their vaccine is still good. So um, that's why we started to just do both of them so that families don't have to worry about it. And then we know too, when the puppies leave our house, they've gotten both shots and so, um, they're protected. They're protected from a lot of those big heavy hitters that can be really devastating to little puppies. And so like, we just feel a lot better 
with that. And I think families feel a lot more comfortable, especially families who have never had a puppy before, or they just don't, they don't have pets. And this is a, a new experience for them. Um, new pet parents are usually very, very nervous and cautious. And so we want to, um, it's just one more thing that we know for new pet parents, it can be stressful. So we don't want them to have to worry about it. All right. Well, did we need to walk off with my pen? Or do I just use this other pen? I'll just use this other one. All right. And you are good with Jenna's. I was using. Was I using this one? No, oh, no, hold on. Hold on. on my watch. I need to set up the stream. I need to like set it up and do the redirect, and then um, so that way I can just well, you stop put, it. And you know, put a couple in there though, so you don't have something running. You can around. put a couple in there, yeah. Um, you want to put the? I put the ones that are most interested in this. There's a few that are very interested in mom, so I was gonna put. Yeah, they're funny. Those ones out here. I just wanted to get ahead of this. Oh, and then you know what? I'm going to start their folders too. Wild stuff. Yeah, Pippi's been kind of.
Alright, Puffy Doodles. Let's see who's right. Have the shrimps. What's going on? Bella, what's the matter? Puppies. Hold on, Bella Bella. What is the Puppy doodlers. Hello, little mess. Oop. 
See your folder we're putting together. Beatrix's folder. Do you mind? I'd like my handwriting to be halfway decent. You guys are such a little hole. Let's go a little bit closer so people can see you. You guys won't. Oh, come here. Come snuggle a little closer. Snuggle a little closer. Oh, but York's gonna run off. York! York! Puppies! Puppy, puppy! Good girl! Good puppy! You're such a good girl! You're such a good girl! Where did the towels go that I brought in there for the to go over the entire floor of our noses and spray it every spot. Happy 
doodles. And we're almost finishing here, and then we will take the other guys back. You're such a good girl, Daisy. I have the thumbnail. I just need to set up the stream for the other. Um, I've got everything ready to go. I just need to turn it on, basically. Um, but what we'll do is I'll put these other guys back in the um, pen. And when this stream ends, um, it'll just automatically load the next stream into your window. Yeah. Is it paused? What's up? That's not. Oh, yeah. All right, hold on just a second. Can you give me two minutes, please? Give me two minutes. Two minutes. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, my goodness. Robin, chill. Remy, that's enough. Is he tickling your feet? I love you. I love this. tricks. Listen, you need to hold with two hands. Listen, look at me. Look at me. You do not pick them up by their feet. No. Okay, I'm, I'm just reminding you. You don't pick them up by their heads. You don't pick them up by their tails. Okay. I think that looks like this. I'm just reminding you, we're just going over it again, okay? Watch. Watch. You can put one hand under their belly like this. Like the butt, like that. Miss Beatrix. 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 Mr. Darcy. Good oh boy. Good girl. Good job, Bella. I'm trying to get him in. Bella, don't. Hey, you can't move so fast. You gotta move slowly, okay? Don't forget their babies. You know, when you were this old, you barely moved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like, we just rocked you. I like kids. I like kids. 
We would rock you slowly and carefully, and we always held you with two hands. I just walked like this. Oh, you didn't walk at all. Yeah, I was hungry. And I was you were like, always hungry. Yeah, and then I just ate. Just like now. I ate, I ate, I ate. Yeah. It was so fun. You guys took a picture of everyone. You guys took a picture of me when I was a baby. Right, Mom? Oh, yeah, we took lots of pictures of you when you were a baby. Yeah, like, post. And then, so over the next few weeks, these folders are going to fill up with their registration papers, their pedigrees, microchip information, um, the pellet potty training, and like literature on kind of troubleshooting issues that might come up and kind of how to integrate it into your home and also cross train to the outdoors. Um, because we use pine pellets, it's kind of like bringing a little bit of the outdoors indoors. And so it's real easy to take the pellets back outside and show them that, oh yeah, pellets really belong outside. Um, and then we also have a copy of the contract that we go over. It's a pretty straightforward contract. Um, they're over in the corner there. Hmm? They're over in the corner. In the corner pen. Corner pen? Yeah, the corner pen. Where? Over there, Bella. Um, Are you bring them out? No, we're going to put all these guys back there. Okay. First, I got to set up the. I want one. I got to set up the stream. Mama's in that's for puppy stuff, but you, oops, sorry, you are not going to use it. I'm going to set up the new lab stream. Um, but so the, the big, the, the big bullet points in the contract are, um, one thing is that for the for our dogs entire lifetimes we will always 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 take them back no questions asked um no matter what the situation if you ever had to relinquish them always call us we will never we won't judge either because we've been in the position before and we know that nobody would ever choose to have a first first line choice of relinquishing their dog and so um, that's one big one. Another big one is that, um, Bella, Bella, you need to be gentle. Annabella, that is not gentle. Bella, sweetie, come on. You're not in trouble, Bella. You're not in trouble, baby. Here, Drew. Oh, Daisy Doodle. Kelsey, yes, they are like, um, York and Beatrix are like right at the same, um, at three weeks they were at two pounds, or I'm sorry, they were one pound, 14 ounces each, and this week they are, one is two pound, four ounces, and the other is two pounds, five ounces.
just trying to hold my hair and sit it and just can see down there. I'm going to bring the other two puppies over. We'll be on screen. All right, so when the string ends, um, if you just sit tight, it will bring up the next string that will be over in their pen in the dining room. So thanks for joining us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the puppies play a little bit in the living room. We will hopefully see you on the other side over in the dining room. See you soon.